Hi everyone, in today's video I would like you to think about the following problem. Suppose that you are in a bar, you just purchased a coffee when you realize that you have an urgent phone call to get. So you have to wait before drinking your coffee and you would like it to be as hot as possible at the end of your phone call. The question is, should you add the milk before or after the phone call? To make sure that the problem is clear, let us state it in a different way. We have a cup of hot coffee to which we want to add some cold or room temperature milk. For some reason, we cannot drink the mixture right away and we have to wait for 15 minutes. After these 15 minutes, we want the mixture to be as hot as possible. Should we add the milk right away or after the 15 minutes have elapsed? If you ask the question to people, you may hear some contradicting argument. For example, some people may say, we want to keep the coffee hot for as long as possible, so we shouldn't cool it off with the milk at the beginning. So we add the milk at the end. Another possible answer is, we should add the milk right away, so that the very hot coffee can warm it up. This way, the mixture stays hot for a longer time. So, what is the scientific answer? The reason the coffee cools off is because it loses thermal energy due to being in contact with the environment at a lower temperature. Adding cold milk to the coffee lowers its temperature, but does not make it lose thermal energy. According to Newton's law of cooling, the rate at which thermal energy is lost is proportional to the temperature difference between the coffee and the environment. This gives us the answer to our problem. To minimize the energy loss, we must minimize the temperature difference for as long as possible. This can be done by adding the milk right away. Problem solved. So let us check experimentally our prediction. I don't want to waste coffee and milk so I'm going to use water. In the two glasses I have some room temperature water and in the cups on the hot plate I have, guess what, some hot water. I am using identical thermometers and we can check that they give the same temperature for the two glasses of room temperature water. The first thermometer indicates 92 Fahrenheit and the other one should also indicate the same temperature, but the thermometers are not perfect, so they have uncertainties, and the second one actually indicates only 90 degrees. So, let us keep in mind that the two thermometers are off by 2 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, let us check that the temperature in the two cups also differs by 2 degrees. We have 176 degrees for the first cup and 174 degrees for the second cup. So we still have our two degrees difference. So this is consistent. Now let me take the two cups off the hot plate. And let me pour the cold water in the first cup. Of course, the temperature in the first cup decreases. Now I'm going to wait for 15 minutes before adding the water in the second cup. It has been 15 minutes, so let me add the cold water in the second cup. And now let us check the temperature of both cups. We have about 125 degrees in the first cup and only 113 degrees in the second cup. So even with the two degrees difference due to the uncertainties of the thermometer, we can clearly conclude that the second cup is colder than the first one as we predicted. If you like this video, 
please give it a thumbs up, write a comment, and share it on your social network. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.